Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're installing this Utopia backrest onto a 2012 Honda Goldwing. And that's coming up right after this. Here are the tools required to complete this installation. Make sure you have all the parts shown on the screen before attempting the installation of the Utopia backrest. Begin by removing the seat from your Honda Goldwing. For more information on how to do this, refer to my 2001 to 2017 Honda Goldwing maintenance videos. Place the T-bar between the two rubber grommets and mark the holes for drilling as shown. There are two sets of holes, so make sure you use the correct set for your year model Goldwing. Next, using a 930 seconds drill bit, drill the two holes that you've just marked. Clean the vinyl between the passenger and rider seat. Follow the instructions to mark an area two inches from the front of the backrest. Remove the backing from the plastic guard and align it in the center of the passenger backrest and apply it. Using an X-Acto knife or a razor blade, cut a slit one and a half inches wide in the vinyl. Use a long serrated kitchen knife and insert it into the slit that you created with the X-Acto knife. And you're going to force this serrated knife down through the foam of the seat. And you just kind of saw it back and forth and it will pull out little chunks of foam here and there. Don't worry about that. You're eventually wanting to force it down so that it hits the uh, seat pan underneath, the nylon seat pan where you drilled your two holes. So you're, you're pretty much going straight up and down and it will it will come out at the bottom uh, where you need it to until it hits that seat pan. Now if you have a heated seat, uh, you might want to be concerned about the wires. They do come up on the right side of this backrest, so it's a good idea to have the serrated part of the knife facing to the left. You'll see where the serrations are on my knife, and I have those facing the left side of the seat. That keeps you from accidentally cutting into the wires of the heated seat, because they do run around this, uh, this right-hand side here, as I'm showing you now. So um, just keep working that knife in uh, you know, it, it takes a while to do this. Don't get in a hurry. It takes a little bit to saw through that foam uh, and just take your time and you will eventually, that knife will go all the way down to the handle if you have an 8 or 9 inch blade and it will hit that uh, nylon seat pan. Now once you've cut all the way through the foam, you can insert the vertical bar and begin working it down through the slit that you've created. And it's going to have to go all the way down till it butts up against that little plastic uh, guard. And if you turn the seat over and look at the back, you'll see, you can start to see that little, the end of that vertical bar coming and lining up with those two holes. And that's how you're going to mount this using the T-bar. You're going to put the screws through the T-bar and into that vertical bar, and that's going to hold this whole thing together. Now once you line up the holes on the T-bar with the threaded holes in the vertical bar, you simply insert the bolts and screw them into place and that will hold the Utopia backrest mounting system uh, right where you need it. Now once it's installed, this is how the mounting bar should look from the top of the seat. After you've reinstalled your seat on your Goldwing, line up the Utopia backrest bar and using the little pivot pin, or, or in some cases it may be a bolt, go ahead and insert that and then use the nut to hold it in place. Now there's nothing left to do but sit back and relax and enjoy your Utopia backrest. You know, you can easily flip it forward for passengers to get on and off the bike, and it fits the style of the Goldwing seat perfectly.